25251 is called Jorge Raviel Cordon. Is that you? Yes, sir. Present with your attorney, Mr. West, and the state's attorney. What are we going to do today? Your Honor, I think you're. Uh, I think he's going to plead truth to this and let the court decide. All right. That's uh, the impression I'm getting. You want to talk to the All right. Raise your right hand, sir. Do you solemnly swear or affirm any statement you make during this hearing will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes. Lower your hand. All right. In summary, can we proceed? In summary, there's a motion to revoke unadjudicated probation filed August 15th last month, 2024. Yes, sir. In summary. This states that on December 12th, 2016, in this court, you were placed on 10 years deferred or unadjudicated probation for evading arrest or detention with a motor vehicle, a third degree felony. Is that true? One states you failed to report to the Jefferson County Probation Office for the months of May and June 2024 in violation of your probation order. Is that true or untrue? Are you pleading true to that voluntarily and because it is true as it is alleged? Yes. It means it's, it's, you should plead true. Is it true as true. this as I just read it? Do you understand by a knowing and voluntary plea of true to a one or more violations of your probation? That's enough to grant the motion to revoke probation. Your probation can now be revoked. I can find you guilty of this evading arrest third degree felony. And you are subject to uh, no less than two, no more than 10 years confinement in prison. And a fine up to $10,000 could be assessed. Well, a fine of $500 could be assessed. That was the fine ordered. Do you understand the consequences of pleading true? This is what could happen. Knowing that, do you insist on pleading true today? Same here. So. Yes. Yes. See, you have to speak out for people. Yeah. I find you are pleading true voluntarily. You understand and appreciate the consequences of pleading true. Now, there's one other violation that you have. You are arrears and payments of uh, fees and other required costs. But I'm more concerned about this situation of failing to report. Okay, so from the probation office, was he an absconder in May? No, sir, he was not. What so happened? The last time he reported to the probation office before the administrative hearing on July 22nd was April the 24th of 2024. So when the administrative hearing was conducted, he was approaching absconder status. Okay. Did he appear for that here? Yes, sir, he did. Okay. So he's gone for two months. Yes, sir. But you've been working for eight years here. Why would you not show up? Well, that's, time that's schedule. important. This time schedule is like they have me in the morning now. Since at work? Well, I mean to report to probation. Oh, but and at work, it's, uh, I have a time schedule because I ride the bus to work. It's like I don't have a time. Well, where do you work? For Bechtel and to me. Over there, so they how much do you make an hour? I make twenty four dollars an hour. That's sixty thousand yes. dollars a year without overtime. I mean, that's a great job. Yes, but you don't want to ruin that. Well, I don't. I mean, I do you have a family at home? Yes, sir. How many? I got my mother and my two kids. Okay, you're taking care of them. Well, they rely on you. What's going on when you're in jail? They can't. You don't want to lose your job, do you? Did you lose your job because you're here? Yes, sir. I lost my job. That was one of the things, Ron. He was having to uh, report to probation, and he was causing problems with work because they Why? were him off work. To, they were. I used to have late nights um, before I went to TDC. Well, this is all workable, but really, if you could get with the probation office. They, we want you yes, to work. That's, that's what they wanted me to. Uh, that's what we're going to ask for, Your Honor. If the court will continue him on probation because of this issue. And let them work out a better schedule that works once he gets another job. He'll be able to get another job. What do you, you what state say? I've kind of gone back and forth on this because while he was on probation, he actually got a 10 year sentence uh, to the penitentiary for drugs. And so he knows he needed to kind of make sure he didn't stub his toe again. 
mean, this isn't a substantive crime, though. No, sir, and I understand that, Judge. That's why I've gone back and forth. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, at least this work thing. You know, but it's are you going to be able to get hired back there? Do you think? They say that I will, since I have to quit because they want to give me a time frame, so I have to get. They will probably hire me in February, six months from the day I got there. But he'll be able. He'll be able to get another job in week. Maybe you can get another. What did you do over there? Uh, an iron worker. A structural iron worker. Well, there's, there are other iron working jobs. Yes. They, I just got a. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. He'll be able to get another job in the meantime, but he's trying to get back with Becca because it's a good company. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do, though. Your Honor. Could I say yeah, something? I'm sorry. Yeah, you know best. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, sir. From the uh, this, this motion to revoke was at the request of the defendant. He, when he, we conducted this admin hearing, we notified him that continuing to failure to report and failure to pay could land him back in front of you as he is today. He said that that's exactly what he wanted. He wanted to be back here today. He said he didn't have time to report to the probation department. Oh, he wants to be revoked and sentenced? You're right. At the time of the administrative hearing, that is what was said. Okay. He said that he's already been to prison before on this. So it's no big deal. And he said that there was a mistake made by the court. Uh, I made a mistake? Did I? For what? What was my mistake? You made the mistake. Yes, sir. Right. You're but blaming everybody else? I'm not. I mean, at that time, I was, I was, I was kind of not having a good day, you know, and Thing of what I said, I said it just out of impulse. So I think your honor at the time that he was upset because of the work schedule wasn't getting worked out. And I think he it was frustrated. Well, be careful what you ask yeah. for. Yes. You um, you might get granted. That's what he got. What you want. <laughs> and then try to get yourself out of that. But what think, is it you want to do? Well, um, can I speak? Yes. Um, well, the delinquent amount when I got sentenced, it built up. So I had a delinquent amount. They didn't want to give me uh late nights. In order to I pay that amount back so they can give me late nights. But, like, how y'all want me to pay something that I was incarcerated for and that I couldn't pay? So you, I wanted you, to have late nights so I could report. You can work, you can work uh, a good schedule as long as I know about it. I talk it over with the probation office. If they're okay, I'm okay because we want you to succeed. Uh, late nights will be better for me. And your honor, we were working around his schedule. I'm sure you were. It's they, been, they are easy to work. It's been with. continuous over the past year to year and a half that there's been numerous, numerous failures to report. I think your honor, him being in jail and seeing this, I think he's he's decided that he needs to do everything he can to work on this. And like I said, this is just an administrative issue. Mr. He'd Cardona, do, do you want to go to prison or not? You're, you're looking at yeah, ten years up to ten years in prison. That's not what you want. All right. Do you want to be independent, take care of your family, which requires you staying out of prison and getting a job and keeping a good job? Yes. We are. We work backwards to help people do that. That's what we want. And every case is a little different. We work with everybody in their unique circumstances. You're not different. You got to work it out like a responsible person or else you're going to go to prison. But the rules are the rules, but we we are flexible as long as you do your part. I don't want to hear you back here saying it's somebody else's fault. It's going to be your fault next time because we're going to work with you. But you got to do your part by putting 100% effort in the right thing or else all of that time and responsibility is lost. You don't want that. All right. I'm, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find that there is sufficient evidence supporting this motion to grant it by a preponderance of the evidence or greater. As the defendant has pleaded true to allegation one, voluntarily, knowingly, intelligently. But I'm not going to revoke. I'm going to postpone any further uh, action on this except you are required to fulfill your terms and obligations of probation. I want to review this in six months, how we're doing, uh, uh, unless you fail, and then you're going to be up here fast. And and let's work this out. This is workable, but we'll review it in uh, six months. You don't want a revocation, and you don't want to go to prison for 
10 years and all of that is something that can be fixed, do it and work with the probation office. They're easy to work with. If you have a problem, you talk to him. You understand? Okay. Anything else? All right. We're in recess. Uh...